This video is to show some troubles of clutch master cylinder and clutch master cylinder how it works. This is a defective clutch master cylinder. As we do, we always try to find what is the defect of this clutch master cylinder. As we see in the video, the rubber piston seal is torn out. If you have a defective rubber seal, then you cannot push the clutch pressure plate to shift the gear. Remember that you can replace the piston rubber seal, check the parts number on top of the rubber seal. Now we will proceed to check the clutch pedal position sensor on how it worked. Set the multimeter tester to ohms. Connect the test probe as shown on the screen. While the clutch pedal position is in a neutral position, 4.2 ohms is the resistance of the clutch pedal position sensor. When pushing the clutch master piston, the resistance of the clutch pedal position sensor is going to zero. And this is how to check a good clutch pedal position sensor. Proceed to disconnect the clutch pedal position sensor from the clutch master cylinder and replace it with the defective clutch pedal position sensor to show what to do if you have a defective clutch pedal position sensor. Connect the test probe as shown on the screen. After connecting the test probe, there is no resistance measured from the pin. Which means you have a defective clutch pedal position sensor. In this case, the clutch pedal shows it is not in a neutral position. If you have an external RPM control for the PTO, then the external RPM control will not work. Because the computer reads that the clutch pedal is not in a neutral position. To survive the work temporarily, connect the blue wire to the brown wire. After making a joint to the blue and brown wire, the computer read that the clutch pedal is in a neutral position and the external RPM can be controlled. Now we will see a clutch pedal position sensor how it works. We will use a speaker magnet to determine where is the contact point of the clutch pedal position sensor. This side of the clutch master piston is having a rubberized ring magnet, and this is the detecting point of the clutch pedal position sensor.
Check the clutch master cylinder, this is non-magnetic material. Check the clutch master piston. This is non-magnetic material. Disconnect the sensor from the clutch master cylinder. Set the multimeter tester to ohms. And connect the test probe to the same pin. Damp the magnet to the sensor. The resistance is 4.7 ohms. These are all the parts installed inside the clutch travel sensor. And the 4.7 ohms is the resistor resistance installed inside the sensor. Because when the magnet dampens to the sensor surface, and the reed switch will engage the contact. This is the clutch pedal position sensor on how it works. Now we will proceed with trouble coming from the clutch master cylinder. This is a swelled rubber seal. And this may cause to damage your clutch plate and pressure plate. Let's take a look on how a clutch master cylinder works in the system. This is a clutch booster. And this is a clutch master cylinder. Take a closer look. Look at the groove side of the cylinder liner, the rubber seal must free to let the oil flow and return to the oil reservoir, and not touching any side of the cylinder liner. The problem is, for a long time in use, the rubber seal swells on the outer side of the seal. And the rubber seal will become big and expand all around the sealing area, and the rubber seal blocks the oil way, returning to the reservoir. In this case, the oil going to the clutch booster cylinder is going to build up. And pushing continues to the clutch pressure plate. In this case, the clutch plate will slide, and it might create a big trouble. The first solution is to re-bleed the clutch booster cylinder. Then it works for a week or a month. Because the rubber seal life is expanding when it heats and compresses when it's cool, then again the same problem will happen. To diagnose the problem, disconnect the outlet pipe of the clutch master cylinder and put oil on the oil reservoir. When you put oil into the reservoir, the oil must flow continue to the outlet pipe. If the oil will be stuck inside the clutch master cylinder, then you have a problem with the clutch master cylinder.
Hope this video will help.